Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anime Select and I'm doing this video probably for the third time because I really wanted to... I was trying to do it before but my thoughts were kind of all over the place and they still are a bit but I really wanted to talk about this issue and I already know you saw the title of the video and you're gonna give me shit for perpetuating everything and for talking about it and you know doing everything and blah 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 but no I feel like this is something that we should actually talk about not necessarily the individual players in it but the broader issue that's going on so like for the last couple of years or so people have been noticing a new animosity on YouTube kinda like this this big war or, or argument or fight happening between different YouTubers who are arguing over the integrity of the site and everything. And, uh, you know, there's a lot more scandal and s different scams popping up now and again. Actually perpetuated by YouTubers. One that just exploded amongst the gaming community in the last couple of days. Thanks to, um... Ah, uh, damn it. I forgot his name that fast. Uh, go watch H3H3's video on the matter about the SC Go, uh, oh, not the SC, the CS Go issue because they have that dude's name in there. And I'm so terribly sorry I forgot your name. I've been trying to binge this stuff to, and catch up on it because. The reason, the big reason why I want to talk about this, not just because it's a hot issue, but is because all this affects me as a content creator. You want to know why? The moment that I believe, you know, that whole drama between like Drama Alert, Keemstar, and all that shit that was going down seemed to be the catalyst for the new added, the new little addendum added community guideline with YouTube. So we have hit a point where YouTube is looking at all this shit go down and they're actually starting to implement rules for, you know, us to abide by with all this. And, you know, to punish people who keep perpetuating this in a more negative light. And that affects me as a content creator because you create rules that don't just affect these people making hate videos on each other or just, you know, exposed videos on each other. It affects me and what I do if someone wants to abuse that terms of service. Like, this is starting to affect how I work with stuff now, okay? But anyway, this is what I believe caused all this shit to happen and um what i believe like all the content creators on youtube and even just people on youtube are what what they really want and what they mean by doing all this and causing all this fuss and drama so i honestly believe that all this shit started going downhill the moment YouTube decided that you could monetize videos. I mean, let's be frank. That's when a lot of uh, copyright strikes, not just ID claims, but strikes started happening. Um, and that's when you also got a lot of people on YouTube who came on not wanting to do it because they wanted to entertain or voice an actual opinion or just make videos and connect with people. You got people who just strictly wanted it for the money. And that's fine. You will always get people like that. But when you look at it from a creative standpoint, and especially now with how YouTube seems to be punishing, in a way, people who actually make a legit... People who actually have like a legit channel, an equality channel, and they're being punished for doing that rather than like like reaction videos where they have the video playing in the bottom corner of the screen and then they have a guy staring off blankly thinking about life, the universe and everything for like 20 minutes as it plays maybe going huh huh you know every now and again it's like and then they make hundreds of dollars because they get like tens of thousands of views you know it's like that equates to money if you monetize so you know they're racking up money stealing other people's content essentially because they just let it play on their channel for free under the you know on their videos without even asking the video holder for permission and you know it's just and that's just one example of all of this 
So I honestly think that the downfall started the moment YouTube can monetize. Now that's not saying that monetization of videos is a bad thing. Fuck, I monetize my videos. Granted, I don't make that much. I've barely hit five bucks. I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. But like, I just did it because I wanted to see. I wanted to see like just how everything worked out and just what everything is and how, you know, Maybe one day, if I am popular enough, I could make this my full-time job. But for right now, I can't, and that's okay. I'm still trying to get my feet wet. I'm still trying to figure out everything and, you know, figure out watch schedules. And I'm trying my best to get organized so I can make quality content for you guys. And I still thank you all for sticking with me through it all. Um, but... You know, anyway, so you have monetization starting and you have a lot of people who are willing to exploit YouTube in a sense and exploit a very vulnerable base of teenagers that use YouTube, uh, you know, for um, pretty much TV. YouTube has become TV at a point, so it is TV actually because now you can even pay to have a streaming service, YouTube Red, and you can watch all this shit for free and even special scripted shows that, you know, people are making with YouTube now so yeah you have a bunch of uh, vulnerable teenagers because teenagers are vulnerable I was a teenager once not that fucking long ago y'all are vulnerable <laughs> and very naive um, you know it being taken advantage of a lot of the time or exploited or just used for profitable gain uh, especially with this latest example with the whole gambling scandal that's just broken out which I still can't believe that I've seen those videos of those dudes trying to apologize. If you know anything about gambling, you know that you cannot know the outcome of a gamble. Like, you cannot personally have any investment in whatever gambling, whatever that you're doing. Like, if I am doing that, the, um, cup thing you know like hide the ball in the cup and everything and I make bets with everybody but I know that this guy always places that cup uh, with the ball like on the right side when he's done that's I I can't bet because I know that I have an unfair advantage with the rest of these people who may not know that and then I'm essentially rigging the system that's all this was it was rigging the system and then taking advantage of preteens and teenagers who get an allowance from their parents essentially stealing money from their parents to do this stuff it's like no it's not cool you cannot tell me you did not know that not when you own the company Okay, I'm sorry, I went off on a rant because I just, oh God, I still can't believe that. But, you know, like just with stuff like that and then even with the drama alert and, you know, he who must not be named, you know, that fella, uh, uh, Keemstar, whatever, you know, and all the crap that's been going on with him, it's like everybody's feeling this tension on the site. And it didn't help matters that, before anybody said we could feel it before like Markiplier and Matthew Santoro and uh, somebody else made a video about it talking about PewDiePie that's it talking about the way YouTube was changing and everything and how it's becoming this place that they don't like anymore you know it's this repeated cycle of uh, just meanness and it's like well unfortunately that's kind of where we're at and that's kind of how the world works, unfortunately. YouTube, along with any other internet community, unless you're, to be honest, unless you're 4chan, you're kind of off in this bubbled area. And, and then something happens and lets other people in and then all of a sudden you're exposed to something you may not be used to. So in our case, it's we had a lot of content creators before monetization who were doing it just for the fun, just for entertainment, not even thinking about making it a career. But then when monetization you know, monetization came in, it was like, oh, I can actually make money off of doing what I love. And that's how a lot of people still view it. But a lot of people now are just like, oh, I just want that money, easy money. You mean to tell me I can just do whatever? I can sit here and play Call of Duty for like 14 hours and get a, a tens of millions of views? Oh, yeah. Go get me a camera right now. Go bring out the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4 or whatever. 
you know, it's you you have people like that now. And I honestly believe that, that is what the main problem with everybody is. Is that a lot of people on YouTube now don't have quality on the mind. They don't really care about entertaining people, having a good of caring about fans and they don't really seem to have integrity for other content creators or even the terms of service on YouTube itself and you have a lot of people who do like with the where's the fair use where you have actual people trying to make a living like channel awesome and I hate everything who get their stuff taken due to false allegations when you have actual people breaking copyright who don't have anything done to them they don't have anything done to them, but they get to just skate by and keep making money and keep getting views and whatever. And I think that that's the real big problem. And that's why uh, you started seeing hashtag make YouTube great again uh, <laughs> slogans everywhere. Uh, which I just still personally don't like because it's just too close to that fucking rotten orange Cheeto of a thing in the skin suit you know uh, it's too close to that but anyway you know I I mean I I get it I get it and I think that that's the overall thing so while a lot of youtubers are like they don't want to get stuck in drama they still end up talking about this subject in more way than one you know they may not drop names like I kinda did I you know or you know they may not be talking about a specific issue but it's still under the same umbrella of we want quality again we want people to actually give a damn about videos and not just making them on the fly and making them just because they get money I mean I I know that if any one of these people you know are watching I know I can't make you do anything. I honestly can't. You are a individual human being and this is all my opinion and I can't change your mind in a day if I do it all. Sorry. Um, but you know it's like come on now man come on. You got a whole bunch of people out here have been doing this for years and they actually give a damn. You gotta see some issue and what you're you know you gotta see it from their side with some issue that you're doing you know like I it, you you have to see it from the other side I've been on this site since 2007 officially officially on the site since 2007 but I've been going on and off since like 2006 and I got my account in 2007 so I have been, I have actually been around and I have seen this site grow and thrive into something that I honestly never thought would be a thing. You know, I never thought that this place would get so big. And before when I was just a channel making AMVs and dumb little Oran High School Host Club parody videos, you know, I never thought about doing a uh, anime reviews not until like 2013 I believe now um, you know it's it was it's ridiculous just seeing how much we've peaked but in that time also how much we've declined mostly just in quality and I honestly think that that's why they implemented YouTube Red as well to kind of separate the the cream from the crap if you will but then that also kind of segregates the rest of us on YouTube who would be considered in the crap and who are actually trying to make decent content for you all. Which is giving us all a bad name and a bad reputation and you know it's, it's not fair. It's not. But that's what I honestly believe. I believe everything went downhill with monetization and I feel now we have people who are exploiting YouTube and its main uh, watch base. And they just don't care about quality, they don't care about content really, and they don't really have any integrity on, for people on the site or just the YouTube community aspect. And it's, it's a shame really, but I mean this, this, this kind of stuff happens. If you've been around long enough to see it happen, then you know that there is also a 50-50 chance that things will get better. 
And I believe that by talking about it, whether it be specific or in broad terms like myself, you know, we actually can get a conversation going and raise up enough voices to do something about it. I mean, hell, we all did it with the Fine Brothers and look what happened there. React World 2? I thought so. So, what do you guys think about all that th that's going on? Um, you know, how do you feel about it? And I'm sorry I did make a video about it, but yeah, this stuff is starting to affect my, my place of work, I guess. Um, you know, and I will have a new video out for you soon. It actually is, um, now that I'm at home, my internet here is so slow. It takes like three hours to upload a nine minute video now. Whereas back when I was at school, it only took like maybe 30 minutes. So, yeah. But anyway, my name is Anime Select, and I will see you all later. And, oh, <sighs> so tired. <laughs> I'll see you all later. Bye.